Gold Rats the Goal, Chapter 11. This chapter covers a really big concept, which was totally new to me when I first read The Goal, and may have been more eye-awakening when the book was first published back in 1984. Uh, so there's a break from what the action was as we wrapped up with Chapter 10, where the team was talking about the major metrics that had driven their awareness, uh, their awakening that the NCX-10 wasn't having the positive impact on their plant that they wanted. Chapter 11, from a literary standpoint, uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different in that Rogo's gonna do something that many of us have done where he's got a short notice business meeting. Uh, here it comes up with his this mentor with Jonah is available to meet with him at a New York hotel. He's gonna hop on that opportunity uh, and, you know, he. Goldrock goes some into, you know, the, the pains of business travel as Rogo finds a suit, packs up quickly and, and hops out the door for the chance to spend an hour over breakfast, uh, catching up with Jonah and understanding more concepts and, and how his plant's going wrong and tapping Jonah's wisdom. The concept that Jonah's going to introduce is one that was, again, new to me, but uh, is around now in a lot of terms. And the way it's framed in the book is it's the importance of dependent ev events and statistical fluctuations. So the quote that kids at best is, he says, the big deal occurs when dependent events are in combination with another phenomena called statistical fluctuations, he says. And here the he is Jonah. So as an example, if you've got two events, so let's say, um, you're planning to build a plant, uh, you're gonna include the NCX-10, and then when you've got the NCX-10 done, you're gonna sell uh, the output from that NCX-10 to customers. But if you're, so those are dependent events, you can't sell the output of the NCX-10 until the NCX-10 is installed. What happens though is that delivery and that installation of the NCX-10 takes too long. Right? So there are statistical fluctuations in the installation time that you would forecast for the NCX-10. Now with those statistical fluctuation and with those dependent events, nothing ever happens on time. We've all lived that, right? We, we've all been through that from a plant and from a manufacturing standpoint, that when many dependent events stack up on each other, uh, you get to this kind of nothing's going to happen in the average time period. And because everything is going to take longer than what you forecast it to take, the whole process is going to take much longer. So this concept of uh, dependency and statistical fluctuation, Goldrod's now going to apply, apply that over and over and over again through the rest of the book. He's going to apply it specifically in how does Rogo forecast the whip of his plant. And we're going to see in future chapters that this dependent events and statistical fluctuations, it, you're going to see specific activity where they forecast parts that go through the plant. But this, these kind of two concepts are much bigger than that. There's actually a whole uh, world of product man project management called critical chain project management that comes out of Goldrot uh, that's based on this, right? And if you look at, uh, so critical chain project management, uh, in the U.S., uh, really widely used in the military is critical path product management. And critical path is actually just the single uh, most optimized version of critical chain. So critical chain, think of it more like a web, whereas critical path is kind of a single, uh, single most important path. But this uh, concept of uh, statistical dependency and dependent events is just, it's what they then talk about over breakfast. So the entire um, morning where Rogo and his mentor are meeting is just discussing this concept back and forth. I highly recommend reading the original chapter. You're gonna see this topic get covered over and over and over again in the book. In a couple chapters when we go on the very famous scout hike with Herbie uh, and Herbie takes too long, Herbie becomes the constraint. Uh, what we're really watching is dependent events. So the scout troop is not done until everyone's done and included in that everyone is Herbie. And then there's the uh, statistical variation and Herbie is the outlier and how long it takes. So that those two topics, statistical dependency uh, and our statistical variation and dependent events are the topic for this chapter.